Hey guys, this is Dan. Um, so my last video kind of showed you my ideas for the senior design plane, right? And uh, in the front of the plane um, is going to be my pan tilt um, FPV uh, system. And uh, I had some some spare uh, sheet metal and uh, access to a, a water jet today. Um, so I went ahead and modeled up and then cut out um, a um, pretty much the, the design I came up with. Um, and I just wanted to, to show you guys what it was. Okay, so as you see here, we have our um, tilt servo on the side. And that's just... Um, Right now, it's actually an interference fit. I haven't had to even glue it on there yet because so the the cutout I I uh, um, I have in there for the servo is incredibly tight. Um, and then it's just hot glued. You can see the little white servo arm there. It's hot glued onto the the camera um, bracket that that holds onto there. Uh, and then as you go over here, there's this axis that that travels from the servo all the way through and uh, this bolt that connects the outside of this top bracket to the inside of the camera bracket um, so it lies on that same axis so it allows it to, to um, tilt pretty easily um, so and then there's just a, a little bolt in there that's just kinda hanging out so again this is a, a really rough mock-up that's why there's just hot glue and things like that holding it on and then this is the top. Oh, there we go. It's kind of focusing. Top servo. Um, just a huge servo arm. This is what I found right now. And again, it's hot glued onto the top bracket. Um, so side view, front view, side view, little hole there in the top. There's no holes or anything in the top. It's just glued on. But uh, so I plan on mounting it inside the, the plane. This servo will just mount up in the top of the uh, the nose there and uh, as of now this is how it works so it works really well and uh, for you know modeling it up in 20 minutes and then cutting it out taking another uh, 15 minutes just to I made I made like four copies of these things there's a bunch of these brackets that I made just because I didn't know how well I was going to be able to make these bends by hand or anything. Um, it was pretty tight fit as you can see, but it all worked out really well. Um, so pretty, pretty happy with it, especially for the first try. Um, then as you can see in the back, I uh, included, um, this is a little button in here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little hole cut out so you can actually go through the menu options on the camera. And then these are uh, your video uh, power and audio wire cable that goes in it's uh, right here so this will just plug in there so I went ahead and had the water jet make those things as well uh, the thing that allowed me to model up this the system so quickly like I said it, it was like a, I don't know what I, what I just say 15 20 minutes of modeling 30 maybe um, probably less but anyways thing that made this so quick is that I had uh, models of my HS55s and my camera um, and this servo arm in here um, I had all those things modeled I modeled took the time and did them with calipers so I knew everything was like down to uh, uh, a decent precision and uh, that just allowed me just to throw these models in and uh, make these um, make a little bent figure inside SOLIDWORKS and then take that over the water jet and cut it out real quick. Um, so again, obviously I don't need to be looking up that much if I'm if I have my, my little dome in there. So I'll probably end up adjusting this somehow. Maybe getting a different servo maybe um, to allow more downward travel. Um, I don't need to be looking up because <laughs> you won't really be able to see much. But anyways, and then this one turns like that. So, anyways, just want to show you guys that. And uh, I've been making a couple modifications to the uh, SolidWorks model, the FPV autonomous aircraft. Um, 
I'll do another video when I get a little farther on that um, to show you guys the updates. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And uh, if you have any any comments on that or any questions on you know how I model that in SolidWorks and things like that, just let me know. Really simple to do. And uh, thanks again for watching. See you guys.